Gas gangrene is also known as uh, clostridial uh, myelonecrosis. Now, it can be uh, fatal, and uh, it's caused for a uh, medical emergency. Now, uh, myelonecrosis causes uh, necrotic damage, and that's uh, specific to uh, muscle tissues, as you see in the bottom picture there. These uh, microorganisms will uh, enter the body uh, via significant uh, skin breakage. Gangrene is uh, typically caused by the uh, Clostridium perfringens uh, bacteria, and that bacteria bacteria produces gas in uh, tissues in the form of gangrene, and then that's uh, where you see the end result at the, the bottom there. So uh, think of it as uh, muscle tissue death, gas production, and uh, sepsis, uh, where the uh, pro progression can quickly lead to uh, toxema and uh, shock. And uh, these bacteria you see right here, now notice this is Clostridium uh, perfrigens, that means more than one. Uh, they're producing exotoxins, and uh, they're commonly found in the uh, soil, actually. Now let's uh, take a look at uh, transmission. Now we have this uh, Clostridium uh, perfrigens, and this bacteria infection uh, enters the body through either uh, trauma or uh, surgery. Now for the uh, signs and symptoms, uh, one of the signs is uh, an infection spreads rapidly, uh, very quickly. Uh, another sign is high blood pressure and uh, sweating. And then a third sign would be uh, anxiety. Now keep in mind, if this is untreated, it can become fatal uh, very quickly. So how is gas gangrene uh, diagnosed? Well, uh, there's a blood test. There's an uh, imaging test, such as the uh, CT scan or uh, an MRI. There's surgery. And by surgery, I mean uh, to find out the extent of uh, how far or how bad it is, and if it's spread to any organs and stuff like that. Then there's the uh, fluid or uh, tissue culture, where you get a fluid sample or a tissue sample, stick it in a culture, and you test it uh, to see if it has those uh, bacteria in it. So uh, the next question you have is how is gas green treated or what treatment do they use? Uh, some of the treatments include antibiotics uh, such as uh, penicillin or uh, clindamycin. Another treatment is uh, hyperbaric oxygen therapy and what that is is they're trying to uh, kill or inhibit the uh, Clostridium uh, perfrigens uh, bacteria. So they use the uh, the hyperbaric oxygen therapy to try to kill and inhibit that uh, bacteria. Uh, the last option for this is uh, surgery. And by surgery, I mean uh, amputation, where you amputate a leg or amputate an arm. Uh, in other words, to try to stop the, the spread of it uh, further through the body because it, it will result in death if it is left untreated. And uh, that is essentially an overview of uh, Gas Green. Thank you for watching.